Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back for another video. Uh, things might look a little different right now because we've got a filmer behind the camera. So thank you, Sad Zebrahead, for helping me out. If you don't follow Sad Zebrahead, go follow Sad Zebrahead, even if he doesn't post videos anymore. So we uh, are doing the ECS tuning brake master cylinder stopper today. Comes with the powder coated bracket with our little bronze stopper. And it also comes with some longer bolts because this is going underneath the battery tray and we need to have long enough bolts for it. So we'll go over to the car here. Filmer, follow me, follow me, follow me. Please don't run into my cars. <laughs> On the GTI and with the Miata 2, you saw that the brake master cylinder right back here is your brake reservoir with the uh, brake booster and uh, it's on the firewall, so I already explained this on the Miata, but for you GTI guys, if you don't know, when you step on the brake really hard, the firewall will flex a little bit, giving you a weaker brake feel. And with this brake stopper, it will solidify it and stop it from moving. So in this video, what we need to do first is we're gonna get the intake off, we are gonna get the battery out, remove the battery tray, do a little bit of trimming to the plastic, and then get our stopper installed. I am a little concerned that the uh, charge pipes are gonna hit it, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. So I'm gonna grab my tools and we are just going to get started. bolts are out so now we should just be able to pop this thing right out it goes on the back there okay I see how it goes I'm trying to do this oh, we got one more one more zip tie right here or not a zip tie but just a clip all right well you guys get the idea we're gonna take this out and then we'll get to trimming the battery tray all right, well, I've lost my filmer. No big deal, so we're on our own for the rest of the time. But what we are going to be doing with the stock battery tray is there's some tabs on here that we need to grind down, remove, etc. So there's these little barbs right here that we need to take off. We need to take this little barb off here. Um, we need to grind this down. So I'm gonna set the camera down and uh, we'll just speed through this real quick and then we can start the install of the Brake Master Stopper. not all the way put back together but our battery trays back in and our brace is on looks like it's gonna fit doesn't look like it's gonna interfere with any of the charge piping which is great so I'm going to tighten down the stopper to brace it all up and you guys saw me taking everything apart so I'm gonna throw everything back together and then show you the final product and then we'll wrap this video up all right and we are all back together batteries back in tightened down 
all of our intake is back on and you can just see the stopper right down there. So it's all nice and tight. Obviously with disconnecting the battery, um, when you turn the car on, there's gonna be a lot of little lights on the dash. So you'll have to just drive it around and those should clear, but otherwise it's, uh, it's looking good. It's really, really, really subtle. You gotta be looking for it to actually see it, but there it is. One more thing to uh, make the GTI just drive and feel that much better. So as always guys, thanks so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, be sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button. We're working our way towards 10,000 subscribers. So if you love GTIs and you love Miatas, both, either, whatever, go down below, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.